Now we have to worry about leftoids feeling like the laws and the rules of the world don't apply to them. Mm. Because they can blatantly lie to your face and claim on a stack of the Bibles that they don't believe in. That we're not coming for your kids. Oh, yeah. All the while screaming it in the street. Yeah. And I, I watched these videos. I watched a clip on Tim Pool about it. Yep. Again, they are showing their hand. Yep. And even when the videos straight from the hewers' mouth are shown on the internet, well, uh, NBC News decides to come out and run interference and says, well, that's taken out of context. No, it's not. Wow. You, I listened to them chant that crap for 10 minutes. Yep. The coming for your children chant has been used for years at Pride events, according to longtime March attendees and gay rights activists who said it's one of the many provocative expressions used to regain control of slurs against the LGBTQ people. Bullshit. Yeah, it is bullshit. L literally, they're trying to groom your kids. And yeah, if really I were is. you, I would take your kids out of public yep. school. And, of course, they uh, they got absolutely <clears throat> demolished by Twitter notes here, community Good. notes. Coming for your children is not a historical part of Pride. The chant appears to originate from the San Francisco Gay Men's Choir singing a song with this title two years ago in 2021. This article is thus a misrepresentation of Pride's history. Suck it, and don't forget to swallow. I wonder what gay uh, Gays Against Grooming have to say about this. We should probably try to find a couple of those guys I would love to, to have on one of the them show. on the show. I would love it. Yeah, gays against grooming. Yep. Yeah, like I, I said right here, it's not rocket science. They're just evil, and they wanted little kids. Yep. And this is the, the reply that I, I like the most here from Remnant. We have been vocal advocates of child grooming for years now. This is a new level of it's not happening, but it's good that it is. Mm. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That really should be one of the icons <laughs> on Facebook. That'd be great. Or on Twitter. Yep. I like that. We're coming for your children. Yeah, that's exactly what you did. You fucked around and found out, didn't you? No, I, I watched the uh, some of the other body camera footage when uh, that person got tapped out. Yeah, Audrey Hale. Oh, did I just dead name her? Oh, too what bad. So sad. Not a single fuck will be given. Listen, I'm tired of... All right, I'm getting sick and tired of of them trying to force me to participate in the grand illusion. Yeah. This isn't a, this isn't a song from Rush from the 70s or the Queen. I I'm literally not playing in the grand illusion. I I I work in reality. Yeah. Gosh. I'm sorry like if they try to this would be the same as if they tried to legislate that you have to agree with the schizophrenics when they tell you that they are they're yes. born of alien blood. And yeah cuz or, That's not going to get anybody killed or anything, yeah. going along with violent delusions. Yeah. Or you get an appearance ticket for not acknowledging your child's imaginary friend. Yeah. And these are violent delusions. Yes. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. The, <clears throat> the fact that they're saying that two people killed in one year is some sort of a genocide of their culture. Give me a break. And, and they believe that. They firmly believe that they're it's, totally under attack, even though every government edifice, every major corporation is flying their bullshit flag. And, and here's the weird thing is they're trying to change a mental illness into a culture. Yeah. That, that, oh, good luck uh, that, with that. That doesn't end well. No. Good luck <laughs> with that. We'll see how that works out. Yeah, sexual liberation destroys civilizations. We've seen that over and over and over again. Why the fuck we thought we could do better? I have no idea. It's arrogance. Yep. Pride. It could never happen here. Yeah, we'll do we it better. Do you have any idea how many emails Pop got during like the Civil War series of Lair videos? That could never happen yeah, here. Or the zombie apocalypse. It already did. Yeah. <laughs> or the zombie <laughs> apocalypse ones. Yep. That could never happen. In fact, I'm going to probably do another zombie apocalypse. Uh, you know what? It needs to be on this shit. Yeah. Well, actually... Uh, it'll be this and yeah. Yeah. But remember, they're totally not coming for your that, kids. That that butt is not attractive. Except for precisely when they are. Four kids oh, God. aged five to ten taken into care after being found at a drag party with a dead trans woman in quotes, it's actually a dead man's body on the floor, mm -hmm. and drugs and sex toys scattered throughout hoarder home. 
Fire officials found four kids jammed together in a cramped room surrounded by filth and a stench permeating the air. Mm. The children were reportedly being hid in the back room by men dressed in women's clothing who were uncooperative and denied having children inside. Is this in England? Uh, no, this is in Boston. Oh, my God! This is, uh, this is Elizabeth Warren's backyard. Yeah. Oof. So uh, th- this person who's dead identified as a woman the same way she identified as being Native American. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> it's 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 quite quite repugnant here, but uh, you know you know totally yeah yeah drag queens are totally safe for children. They would never ever do anything like this. Yeah, I mean this is just evil. It is straight up. This isn't per- somebody who was involved. This was a neighbor who was who discovered that this was going on. So they could have put a better picture of her. In there, I would and, say. and look, well, I mean, they they have no problem, you know, yep. t- bringing in child protective services to take your kids away if you're a dude. Yep. All right, women do it all the time in divorce, and you know, and to to get a power play in the divorce court. Yeah. All right, where was child protective services when this shit was going on? Oh, that's right. They were probably yeah. trying to take children away from men who would rather be spending time with them than spending, I don't know, 70 hours a week working three jobs just to be called a deadbeat dead anyway so mommy can get a check and go buy her weave and get her nails done. Yeah. Uh, so what is that? The neighbor said there was hoarding, a lot of uncleanliness in the apartment, lots of sex toys and drug paraphernalia all over the place. The kids were removed from the hazardous environment and transferred into the care of Child Protective Services where medical professionals assessed their physical and mental condition. I guarantee you every <laughs> single one of those kids was probably rapid or at the yeah. very least drugged up in preparation for such an activity. Yep. Um, or maybe they were just getting ready for story hour. Who knows, right? Yeah, listen, this whole thing about them targeting children... They're doing it because they're very impressionable. Yep. Like, when my kids were young, I had them believing in Santa Claus up until, like, nine years old-ish. I mean, it was a stretch to make it go that long. But, I mean, that's what we're talking about. And literally, they want to give them puberty blockers, screw up their whole you know, circadian river, a rhythm when it comes to sexual development yeah. so they can exploit them later on. Exactly. And they want to get them so that they're so young they don't question anything that they're being told. Yeah, and they will. I mean, it's the same thing with child soldiers. Yep. In Africa, those child soldiers are just, they're beasts because they don't have any moral compass. They don't hesitate. You don't have to feed them that much. And if they get wounded or killed, so what? Yep. <sighs> it's really <laughs> it just it ties my dick in a knot, brings my piss to a boil, and then it gets worse. Now this wasn't the exact same place. The fact that this happened at all is enough to make you want to punch something. But up in Canada, mm-hmm. you've got pride shit going on in the streets all month long. Fully naked people out in the streets exposing themselves to children. This is what happens when you call the police to report this in Canada. I was wondering if I could ask a police officer a question. Sure, one moment. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Hi there. I was just looking to ask an officer a question, uh, and then I got forwarded to you. Um, is yeah. there... I just want to make sure I'm not working outside of any laws or anything like that. If you want to be out in the street you you have to be fully clothed and you can't be naked or anything like that right well i mean there are naked people running around on the street okay but is that against the law that would be some mental health issues yeah remember he said that yeah yeah oh Okay, I agree with you on that one. <laughs> I, I, I just, I'm having a hard time. Yesterday I seen um, a bunch of people naked in front of children and police officers, you know, seeing men with their penis out in front of kids, and I'm just wondering if that's acceptable. Was that part of the, was that part of the Pride, you mean? Was that yeah, on the weekend? Yeah, it was at the Pride Parade. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's always the issue then each year. Yeah. Is that, what's the issue with that? Sorry. Well, I mean, that happens every year. Oh, so like it's every kind of like year. it's okay yep. for when it's at the Pride Parade, but not 
in other situations, obviously. See, that's bullshit. Exactly. I would, I would say so. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time. All right. And we wonder why they have gotten so brazen with going after children. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's literally going to take a bunch of parents just taking it to them. Yeah. Because uh, historically speaking, if you can't get justice in the courts and the cops won't do the right thing, sooner or later people are going to rise up and they will. Yeah. And that's usually ultra bad. Yeah. And the ones who are actively going out and looking for a fight, despite never having actually been in one in their lives, when you actually find it, not it's, it's not going to go well for you. No. Just saying. Uh, you, are, uh, you are on fuck around highway. <laughs> and you're going to run in to find out. Yeah, find out is dead ahead, <laughs> and uh, it's a brick wall. <laughs> yeah. Oof. And I think your brakes are out. Uh, all I know is, uh, I mean, this there's there's two different standards for the laws in this country, and I'm sure it's the same elsewhere. Oh yeah, there's, there's a two tier system everywhere. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like a multi tier system here. Well, the thing is, is once that becomes uh, uh, you know relevant or people notice it on the regular, they start losing respect for the rule of law, and uh, it just it just gets it just goes south from there. When it's obvious there is no rule of law, depending on whether or not the agenda you're pushing is what the WEF wants. Yeah. Uh, that's sooner or later, it's going to implode. It's not going to be fun. No, I, I, I'm not looking forward to it. I mean, you kind of have to train your brain to see stuff like that as entertaining if you're going to survive it in any way, shape, or form, because well, yeah, you either got to bust out the popcorn or the shotgun one way or another. Yeah, it's you got to laugh through that stuff. Or it will, it will, it will break you. Jail. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonculus.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.